Welcome back everybody to this Let's Play Total War Warhammer with, uh, with Volkmar the Grim with Scar, Snick and Gobla as our legendary lords. We just managed to take out a whole empire army with a goblin one with only losing a hundred goblins. And it wasn't even one of my madly buffed goblin armies. So that was quite a skillful victory if I do toot my own horn a wee bit there at the end of the last part. that's typical blood cloth style. I either pull these battles off masterfully without so much as a hitch, like perfection, or I herp a McDurb and screw up really bad and either lose really badly or somehow scrape a victory out of some nonsense battle. That is the typical blood claw way. I don't even know what spell we picked. We're not even paying that much attention to this stage of the game. Zogging Gam! That's that another Empire army gone and no longer needed to be worried about. Oh, someone else destroyed this fort for me. Thank you, whoever that was. Just gonna raise, we are absolutely loaded. I do not care about the money. Scarsnake is now at level 25. Him and. Um, what's his face? I've been calling him Mr. Gitsnick. Oh, that's gonna be as. That's gonna be annoying me for ages. Him and. Grimgore, there we go. Him and Grimgore are gonna be fighting for the struggle leadership of this faction pretty soon because they're both level 25. Wow, I can even hear Raven in the background eating sweeties. This mic is picking up way too much. I'm going to have to try and play around with the settings or something. Yes, I'm recording this on Christmas. I was going to say Eve is in the evening, but I, that sounds like the day before. Actually, I mean Christmas night. Once everything's calmed down, I'm as full as a puggy from Christmas dinner, the wee ones are not long in bed and we're just sort of set on down to enjoy the last, last of our evening. And I'm squeezing in a wee bit of recording. And I think I can even hear Raven typing now in the background, it's picking up everything. Yeah, and Raven's a really loud typer so it doesn't help. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm the- I, I, me be quiet? I'm the one recording here. <laughs> no, I'm joking, meaning that what was it? I'm the I have to be the one making the noise. I'll kick you out the room if you don't shut up. I wouldn't kick her out of the room. And once again, just just in case anyone is new to this part, Raven in the, I see this every single part, she's in here. But Raven in the background, just she could just go to the other another room. She chooses to stay in the background and be quiet. It's not me forcing her. Yeah, that's right. I should just make a disclaimer by now because I'm just paranoid that every part there'll be someone new and going, "What? The, that's a bit mean, forcing your wife to stay in the background and be quiet." Right, we'll top up those units you lost. Um, the Empire does appear to have lost its possessions up this way. Balthazar Gelty Boy could come down here and cause a problem, but if he does, I'm not that bothered about that because it'll free up these armies more. Who's the boss? Who's the boss? I'm the boss. Because I is big, I is great, and I is mean. We're just going to keep... Keep up this march, this pace. It doesn't mean we do have an army. Where is it? Here. Great and powerful war boss. Waiting to hop Send over here, so next turn it can recruit. We'll have another army to send crashing into the Empire. We're just spewing them out and throwing them in the Empire's general direction now. The and boss. the Empire just does not know what to do. It's just like... What the hell? There's so many goblins! There's scream- I didn't even know there were so many goblins in existence! 
They're just climbing out of the climbing, yes, they're climbing out of the holes. Just buying stuff because I can, because I am loaded. This desk is probably the most useless building I probably could build, and I don't care anymore. Doing that thing I hate when I do it is I just go through all my buildings looking for stuff to spend the money on that would help. I do, and it's just an old habit from the old games when it didn't have the hammer to tell you you could upgrade something. I think I hear more crinkling coming through my headset. I can tell every time you open the suite because this mic's picking it up. In my ear that's not got the headset on, I don't hear anything. But in the ear that's got the headset on, I hear a crinkling cut that the mic's picking up. I like sweets. I know you like sweets. So he is going after the new army. Right, let's retreat so he doesn't get his garrison to help him. And what does he do? What does he do? He doesn't come after me. Okay, that's good. That's perfectio. Worst thing about new headsets, like the one I got earlier on today, is your ears need to adjust. My right ear is now quite painful from the new headsets. My ears need to adjust. Keep up this destruction and rampage. The nasty Skalka. That's great, cave squig. Hit on that. Oh, he's got another point. Let's get on that. The warmies. Let's actually see if we can get the warmies to do something useful. Set Y target, hell on gut. Set Y target, hell on gut. Set wire target. Hell, I'm going. What is zogging it to you on? Stick you on Raiden camp. See if we can tempt them to come attack you. Night Gobbo Warboss! You start laying siege to Null, so one of you can come help. Or maybe a couple of years with that army. Next turn, we'll start building you some siege equipment. Yeah, I think we'll send two years to help. One of you's up to take Crumbud. And Empire is basically finished. Quest successful. Azak the Slaughterer. Oh, Azak has a quest battle. I didn't even realize what we're about to do. I think that's that there. Oh, Slag of Slashers. That could be useful for him. But we've got too much. He's got too much work on his plate than now. To consider going after that. The Empire is nearly quashed. Um, I think we'll probably... My original estimation... The Empire's fallen really fast now. My original estimation of uh, two parts to take out the Empire, then one more to just blitzkrieg everything to wherever Archeon is, is starting to look quite accurate. Just have a wee stretch. Talk into my mic a wee bit closer. Just quite a bit of variance. Oh, he's... Whoa, what the... Why is his army so... hurt? There's still a lot of heroes. There'll be a pain in the backside, so I'd rather auto-resolve it. Go and get a heroic victory. And eat them! I thought they might do that, right, we'll pull back, wait till we got the support. I 
thoughts they might do that. Quest aborted, Scar Snake. Scar Snake's Crota. Oh, that's what happened, my warmies. The warmies must have all attacked. That would make sense why he was all of a sudden hurt then. Kinda of hard to believe the warm is lost. And how the hell did Oh no he's not, he's disappearing slowly now. Right, you jump back into there. Don't know why I done that, because alright, Mr. Get Snick. Come on. I am true power. Boom! The crowd's whispering. The crowd's whispering. Savages. Who needs stabbing? Attack! And look how fast we have destroyed the Empire. They're down to one province. And no Malok, they'll confederate this turn with Averheim. Just check. Empire. Number of provinces, one. Alright. Oh, Where is the Warriors of Chaos? Where is Archeon? I cannot negotiate with this faction. Where is their little... Still some Borgerling down there I forgot to deal with. Oh no! No! I think see I figured out how I used to use the diplomacy to be able to tell what Archeon is. They've taken him off the map! How dare they! Right, does it... Can you still check where he is? Can you check where he is by doing this? Ah, okay. He's right there. Wow, he's quite close. <laughs> now. Now. This you got range? Send in the spiders! Send in the spiders! Now they'll see. Now they'll see. Wow, well, actually, we might be able to finish off this part. Skarsnik! I'm out here! Is Skarsnik, eh. Uh... Why can I not go into Raiden? Oh, you're on forced march. Then jump back on this side then. Wait for the WoW army. War boss, in it! Warboss, eh? Everyone that can, it's time to start blitzkrieging towards Archeo. Oh, dipping tips. Tripping tips. Definitely want that. And, uh, this army here. That way I'm gonna need you, but. Those shoes are beastly. But we're here for a reason. Alright, alright. I'm well nasty. He's well nasty. Knights of a war boss. This way. This power is real. Drop us out. Right, we wiped them out. We wiped out the Bajorling. Lovely, no more bejewelings. They were rather stinky anyway, nobody liked the bejewelings. That's Empire without any land whatsoever. 
Always listening. Get the last point into savages. And then we've got all this. This should be hopefully enough to take out whatever Archeon's got hiding just over her this horizon. Well, the Empire still have this, this arc. Does not have my consent. And there's the Emperor Karl Franz himself. You need help. You need help. Intimidating presence, mate. Now's the time when the Empire normally, well, the AI in general normally suicide with their last army or so. Live ammo, ammunition for artillery, now researching armor for infantry. Yes, lovely. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm the boss of them nine goblins. I'm the boss of them nine goblins. Running? What does Ogilek do you want? Forward! War boss in it! Street doing savages and uh let's then send you, boss. we're gonna send you up here, hopefully Franzi boy will attack you. And that'll be the end of the Empire. Yep, that seems to be the end of the Empire. And he Archeon's just there. You need me. I like a good plan. He likes a good plan. Legging it. Sounds like a good idea. Now post me. And for the first few turns, we're gonna use Raiden Camp just to recover the attrition we've suffered there. And after that, what is it you want? oh, they need quite a bit of raiding camp to cover. Oh, Same with you. This way. I'm going to use raiding camp for a few turns at least anyway to recover the attrition and the units here for Mr. Get Snick. Get him. Another couple of melee units. Right. Yeah, who's the boss? I'm special. A special. It's a pity we never got to see that army in battle. We actually probably should have fought one of those battles just to have. Look at all the units, because I've never really used a Savage Orc army. He's moving. Right. I wish we could make Tempt Archeon to come closer to me. We'd speed things up a wee bit. It's so, Empire! Wish I could make the WoW armies use a Raiden Camp type thing. Well, this turn will retreat. We've got another army coming over. Caught him anyway. Eh, I'm not in the mood to fight that battle. It was just a baby army I just summoned. And as long as we're causing them losses here, I'm not that bothered. Well, they barely took a scratch for some reason. Your resolve was really piffle there. I definitely should have fought that one, but I was... Wanting to speed things up. I'm not really caring about the Empire more. Chaos is where things are at. And we're going to try and finish off this part. Maybe make it a slightly longer and call it a grand finale. Bum, 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 bum. 
bum bum. And we did have another army over here. Not likely. Yeah, his army is dwindling fast. Where's the other army? I'll send him towards him. Yes. He knows he can't colonize. I'm too close. Where are you, Archeon? You don't appear to be moving, though I'm guessing you've got at least one good big giant bird army with you. Maybe even two, so... Let's make sure we keep recovering. Start grouping together. Attrition, the not attrition, the recovery is quite slow. Let's get to our point the savages. Let's use tunneling just to catch up this turn. And no attrition. Right, and the army here. I think we've got enough going that way. Let's send more towards the Empire because I'm just going to all resolve this battle as well. I've got a funny feeling that all resolve might just favour the Empire just because it's Karl Franz level 17. Though with the attrition that army has taken, it should be straightforward victory even for the auto resolve. Wanted to see if I could get some sort of agreement with the Vampire Count, see if they wanted to help tackle Chaos. They're at war with Chaos. The whole world should be against Chaos right now. If I was any other faction than a Greenskin faction, the whole world would probably be wanting to unite with me to fight Chaos. But that is not the case. We are a Greenskin faction. One that even Chaos is scared of. So they're avoiding me. Oh, Grimgore has another one. Let's get him the boys. We'll get him the next one, the boys. Then we're gonna get on, lads. They may have Archeon, but I have Azag the Slaughterer, Grimgore Ironhide, and Skarsnick and Gobla all united in one giant tidal wave of green descending on him. Now, I don't even think Archeon can stand up to that. I mean, Archeon versus Grimgore would already be quite a good, pretty even fight. But Archeon, Azag, and Skarsnick? Oh. So he probably does have something very big with him in the form of a giant bird, and if not, in form of one of the oldest and largest creatures in the Warhammer universe. And if you're not realizing who I'm referring to, he may be a sort of dragon ogre sort of creature that I am thinking of, so that should clarify things a wee bit. We're letting the others catch up, even though you don't need the recovery now. And that's not even mentioning my other lords, so yeah. My other lords should make up for the fact that he'll probably have a giant bird with him. Another, probably. Let's do it. Probably one more turn of catching up. Then we can all be on the healing stance, make sure our armies are as healthy as we can be. Oh, and the Empire actually wants to strike at me. Well, I suppose the Empire does like going suicidal. Doesn't it once? Uh, well, AI in general likes going suicidal the second 
it's lost all its areas. So they're probably going to solve that problem for me. Not that I'm complaining. Who's the underweight? Actually, Force Mars are probably faster. You're going to go guarantee that for us though, though where you're definitely not needed. You're going to start coming up here because you might get there just in time to finish off an already defeated Skarsnik, eh, Skarsnik, Archeon, if somehow this green tide fails. The only thing that would make this just this just finish it off is if I had the green prophet in there as well. That would just be the Piazza de Resistance. And I've just s s pronounced that all along, but oh look, yeah, oh, I just pronounced that all along. <laughs> Wrong, but you just get my point. As Raven laughs at me in the background. So successful. Empire didn't. Are they besieging? Mm, yes, right, good. Here we go. Oh, we didn't finish them off. Gobo Walmart. Eh. Wow. Come on. There's only a 10 HP Franz left. Come on. Just die already, Empire. Oh, we can see him, boys, and his army's already quite weak. I'm Trixie. Let's do it. Right. See you later. And he's on his own. My prodder's ready. His prodder's ready. That works. Uh, Archeon, do you have any idea what is coming for you right now? Oh, yeah, boy. He's not even got a full stack. Oh, yeah. And he has literally... Five Wahs coming his way. Five Wah worth of orc. Probably ten times the amount of reinforcements the game will probably let into a battle at one time. I like Grimgore's laugh. He knows what he's about to do. They know what they're about to do. I've probably left an army behind somewhere, but I am not caring. This campaign has literally just finished. There's no way we're not going to be able to finish this part in this time now. I normally would keep the part going for another five minutes. But since it's going to be the grand finale, I'd gladly go for another 20. Warriors of Chaos, please don't just run away with Archeon. If you just run away with Archeon, I'm going to chase him and surround him. And just keep on chasing him until he gets back to that waste and I'll win that way. But it'll take a god-awful amount of time and I will be so peed off. Right, first things first. Where is that bloody empire... Emperor got to right. He didn't even move. I lost a unit from that, and he's bloody still alive. Just finish him off. The empire has been finished off. Right, has Archeon ran away? Oh, the cheeky bugger has moved away. He is running, so we're going to run to it with everything we've got. I know I'm going to take attrition, but I don't think it's really that important at this point in time. It's not as though he's going to be able to destroy me, even if he has lightning strikes. And he goes after these armies one at a time. I am really not worried. Um, and that's not even the Wah armies yet. 
Can you imagine what Archeon's thinking? To be honest, I'm moaning saying he better not run, but... <laughs> Do you really think he's got much of a choice? He's even... Look, look, look. We've even got Manfred coming over here to support me. He's coming after Archeon. I probably wouldn't even need to attack him. That looks like it's... Well, that's a pretty fodderly army, but... Yeah, I'd say I'd give that to Archeon, probably. Depends on what... Oh, actually, Manfred's quite strong himself. Yeah, Manfred's spells and heroes would probably pull that into his... I'd give that to Manfred, actually, if those two were to fight. But those units, Archeon's got are quite nasty, but I think the heroes and the magic would just tip it in Manfred's favour, but he would lose almost everything. It would be a close battle, I'd say. Right. I don't care if someone has low fightiness or skill points or whatever. Empire's gone. Archeon is literally surrounded. And I'm just gonna... If he... If I was Archeon, I'd be force marching it as far away towards the wastes as I could. But instead, he's going to attack my armies. Well, I suppose they're not supporting each other. We're just going to... Valiant defeat? I do not care. That was one army. And that's also very good for me because it means he's not going to have the range to run away. Well, actually, I suppose he could attack them, then went into force march. But will mean I have the range to overtake him. And so the next turn I should be able to catch him. But I doubt he's ran away. Oh, we lost the little crappy... If, if I was him, I would have went after Grimgore or Skarsnik. Wait a minute, he won that battle with himself left with 10 HP. Either that or Man... Oh no, look, Manfred came in and kicked his butt. Okay, so he won that battle with me with next to no losses like I fought. But then Manfred came in and kicked his butt. So I was right, Manfred did win that battle, but just ever so slightly. And that doesn't even leave a battle here. Archeon's gonna die to Skarsnik. And victory! I was a wee bit off in my prediction. It did take the two parts to finish off the Empire. But I was in a position that as I finished off the Empire, I was able to go and take out Chaos at the same time. Well, I didn't even need to kill Chaos, I just needed to get rid of Archeon. Who was out in his own with a wee half stack of elite men. And I even got helping hands from Manfred. Manfred even came over. Can you imagine just Archeon at that point? He's just been like, oh my word, just the horizon is just covered in green skins charging at me as far as the eye can see. Um, I'm going to nip in here and just nuke this one unit as they're all running at me and quickly get out before they have the chance to attack and devastate me. And he turns around and as he's just done that, he sees Manfred is standing there and he's just like, oh, fuck my life. <laughs> that is literally... What just happened to Archeon? He was literally like, right, we'll quickly nip in and kill this one little greenskin army. At least that'll be helpful. Then we're going to bolt it back to the waste and amass the Chaos Horde and come back and fight these greenskins. And he does that, turns around, and Manfred's just standing there like, hey, mate, we're going to have a battle. <laughs> it's literally, I bet you Archeon was just like, oh, can I get a break? Can I just get a break? Look at all these green skins, just give me a break. Uh, I hope everyone has enjoyed this campaign. That was quite an entertaining campaign for me. The playing as goblins pretty much all the time was actually a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. So as usual, hope you have all enjoyed this. I certainly have. See you all next time. Bye-bye.